Satellites in space are a big tool for us meteorologists. Sometimes we're sampling clouds and the position of storms on Earth, but sometimes we're actually sampling the temperatures of the clouds themselves. Well, when we talk about remote sensing from space to Earth, we can actually see those temperatures way up in the atmosphere in a cloud that could be minus 20, minus 30, minus 40. But on Friday, we saw something really special. Notice in BC, you see the clouds moving, the yellows and the blues. Now draw your attention to where that arrow is. Nothing's moving. That's because we're actually sampling how cold it was at the surface. And those temperatures were minus 30s and 40s. And I might remind you, it might look like you're seeing um, cloud cover there. You're actually not seeing cloud cover because it was sunny in many of those locations and frigid. It was also frigid even further north. If we take you to the Yukon in Oglevy Camp, we actually recorded at the surface, not in the clouds, minus 48.2. Wow, that's a chilly temperature before the wind chill um, on Friday as well. And that's the coldest of the season so far. We may see more of those temperatures being remotely sensed at the surface from space because we're not going to be seeing those temperatures warm anytime soon, at least until next week. We've still got minus 20s and 30s before the wind chill across the prairies. But into the long range, we're going to be seeing temperatures uh, boost up big time as we look for some Pacific air to flood across the prairies. Jasper by next Thursday, plus two. Lethbridge at zero. And then on Friday, it's going to be even warmer. So one week you'll see temperatures on the plus side of zero, three for Fort Mac, five for Lethbridge.